Hello everybody, it is Turkey Dirk. It's been a while and my hair is not cut so COVID is still a thing and uh, not much has been going on. I have been playing some cross out but honestly it's been a good time to lay low. Because amusement park, you might have fun with it but it's not crucial in the slightest and it's a very good time to do other things honestly. But as you know, it's been the complete age of the nest and now is a good time for a new pack. Here it is, so it's the Phantom, and I will say one thing about this pack. It's actually nice to see a decent pack vehicle, actually, that you can really drive. I absolutely love the sideways pyre things. People didn't really take advantage, but it is brutal. I mean, pyres are such a garbage weapon, except if you just go right into someone's face and not have to worry about the missiles trying to fly around and hit stuff. Um, just like kind of drive by someone and well bam and that is it really really powerful and this is a really fun build so guys good job on having a decent workable uh, pack build now what else can you say it's uh, there's an overpriced version of course which is just bad and there's some really nice armor bits yes and some strange ones here's the death part weird does that mean you get two death parts I doubt it I guess it just unlocks. Very strange. And you also have this hand. I'm confused by this. There are some nice fenders that the pack isn't using. Look, really cool fenders. Where is it? Oh, the fenders actually cover up and become also the, the hood. Strange part, but really beautiful. Good looking. I love it. The cab itself. The Dusk. So it is another light cabin. They love these light cabins. I'm not really a fan myself. 100 kilometers an hour. It's got 42 and 86, so a little more than the Cerberus, less than the Harpy, less than the Tusk. So stats is kind of iffy on the light cabin side. And of course the perk changes everything as it always does these days, right? Not even legendary. So homing missiles become more accurate, deal 30% more damage and fly 20% faster. Light time is 67% lower and maneuverability is reduced. Uh, what does this mean? So I think they really hit it right here. The best use of this cab is going to be exactly sideways pyres, which is awesome anyway. You should try to do it if you can um, because you don't have to worry about flight time or maneuverability. You just have to worry about the, the more damage and the accuracy in this case. Tell me if I'm wrong. I believe the accuracy is really more about targeting itself and not once the missiles actually fly because once they fly they're going to be less maneuverable so probably no longer are you going to be using them for straight up pyre or even nest because right now you are yeah 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 the good news is they're not quite going to buff the nest not not that it really needed to except for damage so i noticed they did tweak the nest possibly enough to make it not really want to use quite so much as you did. So before they hit all the freaking time, even really, really close up. And nowadays it does not. Clearly it does not. And clearly this cabin does not help. What this cabin is going to do is reduce maneuverability. So possibly with this cab, it might be easier to dodge these little nest things. I don't know, but you should. Game, you should be able to dodge these nest missiles. That's just stupid if you can't. And uh, I personally wouldn't mind if this cab wouldn't make the nest a little bit easier to outmaneuver. I have a feeling that this cab is really for the cool stuff, like the wasps, like the crickets, like uh, sideways pyres, not regular, um, you know, brainless, let the missiles do all the, all the targeting kind of pyres. Um, yeah, crickets, this can be really deadly. Wasps, this can be really, really kind of nasty. So stuff that gets into people's faces don't really have to target and uh, just do more damage and are more accurate. I think those weapons are going to be great for this. Do we need that? No, 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 we, we, we don't. We don't. So you know what, folks? Nurky's prediction. And if I ever have the time to do a video, I'm going full on spark support. Get rid of all the rockets for my team. Um, and of course Argus. So uh, you're gonna have to completely, completely anti-rocket your build with whatever you can. Probably Griffin is gonna be pretty huge for stuff like Nets Continued. 
because um, I believe that does help against nests and pyres and hurricanes for you and probably for your teammates as well. Even though you don't actually cloak them and yourself, you can stop the targeting. I don't know, but hey, that's where we are. New pack, Halloween stuff, as usual. Okay, I'll look at this junk because things are getting really weird. I don't know what this is. So LEDs are, this looks really awesome. And it's kind of cute, kind of cute. I like this one a lot. So kind of like the hologram, but better. I like these more. I'm kind of sick of those holograms. A uh, pretty decent paint here. Woo, it's like graffiti your own, your entire vehicle. Mm, this one less so. Now here's where things are getting really weird. Destructible object. What the hell is that? Uh, is that on your car or is it on the ground uh, in your garage? This one looks like it might be part of the garage, but maybe it floats. I don't really know. What does that mean? There's a taller one. Spider's awesome, but is this on your car? I don't get it. And then, okay. So this is so... Now it says amusement ride. So destructible object. What the hell is a destructible object? Is it for your car or what? Can't be painted. What is that? Uh, this part, amusement ride. So that's definitely in your garage. Why is it regular craftable stuff? And here is this little new paint bucket, which is annoying. There's two kinds of paints now. Uh, this obviously is for the outside. I don't really want to have to collect paint for the outside as well. It's hard enough, man. So I don't get that whatsoever. What does that mean? Is that just the garage just opened up a whole new level of junk for us? And here's the thing, building supplies. Okay, guys, please in chat let me know what is building supplies? What do you do with it? Where do you use it? And if you, you're not crafting it for this, like, why? What is it? I can't sell it. I can't buy it. I can't use it. And then... For Halloween stuff, I'm not using that to make the garage things. So what the hell is going on? The game kind of got ahead of itself in terms of this garage crap. And I think that's uh, one reason why I'm not really so thrilled with this new battle pass. Don't know. Let me know if you like this garage stuff in the comments. And uh, I'm pretty glad about the whole thing. Okay, now the new game mode itself looks really cool. I think it's a really nice map for it. I kind of hope one of the items that you get is going to be a Skinner, but I kind of doubt it. Um, I don't know where I am or what I'm doing right now. Sorry. There's the thing. God damn it. Let me get the thing. Thank you. Snare. What the hell is a snare? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, there's actually goop now. I like that. Yeah! Get me out of here! No! Get me out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> fun stuff. I remember it took me a long time to get used to this game mode, but when I did, it kind of got fun. I keep getting the freaking snare. Is that all there is? No. I know there is more than that. There you go. Deadly shot. Ah, yeah. I remember this game mode is fun once you get the hang of it. It's very frantic and... Yeah, I'll give them a try. We shall try it. But as far as what to craft, I think I don't really want anything, really. I mean, legendary stuff is just too expensive, and pumpkins for the garage, I don't really care about. So yeah. I don't get this garage and non-buying stuff. I really don't get it. Um, looks fun. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. Don't drop that duck duck. Hey, don't drop that duck